it is finally here. It took forever for mom's bag to get here. It is, uh, people have been asking. I'm so sorry, it took so long. I was trying to wait. Um, I actually am not gonna lie, I got impatient with uh, with my own and I wound up filming a, a video that will be posted Monday using all the products. So I'll be able to tell you guys how I feel about them uh, after having used them too, which is actually kind of nice, but also like not what we normally do. But if you haven't figured out what this is, it's Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus. So little backstory, if you guys have never uh, seen one of our videos before, welcome. Thank you for uh, clicking on that video. We appreciate it. What I do is I have an Ipsy and an Ipsy Plus subscription. So does my mother. Every month I compare our two bags and I see between the two, which one I like better as a whole. And then I pick out my five favorite products and make my ideal bag based on what the 10 items that we received were. We did both get our standard bags pretty early. I already posted that video a while ago. Today we have the plus, my plus, which is this one right here. He showed up two weeks ago. Um, I didn't do add-ons, so he showed up like lickety split. He showed up before my regular bag did. My mother, however, decided she was going to do quite a few add-ons. I think she spent about $50 in add-ons. And hers showed up finally yesterday on the 20th. My goodness, did it look like it had been uh, road hard and put up wet. I mean, you can see the packing tape where the mail, the post office had already taped it. It like this box has just been to absolute war. He didn't fare well. There's some more stuff down there that also did not fare well, but yes, but we'll get into that. She left her add-ons in the bag because I think that's a big part of this change that they've made is the add-ons. So, so she left them in so I can talk about them. I don't know the prices she paid for them. I don't know any of that stuff. I should have probably asked, but I did not. She did print out a cheat sheet for me to tell me what she picked and what she received. So that will help when I'm deciphering what she added on and what she received in the bag. But we'll still start with hers, even though I've already used mine. Um, that video, like I said, will be coming up Monday. It is a crazy video. It is a lot, but it is hopefully gonna be really entertaining. Uh, so if you like uh, if you like us and you like what you see and you wanna see that video and me use all the products in my bag, then uh, subscribe. <laughs> Okay, let's jump into the bag. We're gonna start with mom's and what she received. Let me see. I'm gonna see if I can do it in an organized fashion. Probably not, cause I'm not an organized person, but oh well, sue me. So the first thing that we have that she was chosen for her is the Beauty For Real Duo Eyeshadow Sticks. I also received this in my bag. It is the one product I did not get to try because I wanted to use the palette I received instead. So I can't with, confident to say how much I like these, but I personally love stick eyeshadows and liquid eyeshadows. So I was really excited about getting them. My mom does not use them as much. I think that they're still a good product and they're colors that she's really going to, I think get a good use out of. One's a very pretty like champagne-y glitter shade and one's a pretty like slightly darker, maybe bronze is what I would call it, glitter shade. We've gotten Beauty For Real products in the past and I'm a big fan of their stuff. I like the quality that they have. Um, so I think that these are gonna be nice ones, throwing things, always throwing things. It's what we do here, I throw things. So yeah, so that's what they look like. Really pretty, very nice. I will definitely be using them in a video at some point. It just did not happen in the one that is uh, <laughs> that we already filmed, so. There was a lot happening in that video, so it just didn't, it didn't make the cut, sorry guys. But yeah, really good product. And I think for a choice product, like for Ipsy choosing it for us, I think that was a really good one, in my opinion. So she also, they chose for her the Crypto Sports Booster from 111 Skin, um, yeah, skincare. I don't know where I, I should have stopped talking and I just didn't. As you can see, this box went through some stuff too like most of her stuff went through some stuff. It's a good size from what I can see. And I actually have really been enjoying getting serums lately. I've been using them a lot more. Um, so I've been getting a good use out of them and I think she was pretty excited about it too. Uh, but yeah, so decent little size. I mean, skincare is always gonna be just a little bit tinier than you know what you would think it would be. But it's 0.68 fluid ounces, so pretty decent. I like it. I think it's a good one. Okay, so those are the two that were, that were chosen for her. So she chose the Bailey Sarian palette with Estate Cosmetics, which let me tell you guys, that was the big that was the big ticket for me. That I mean, that was worth my twenty five dollars this month, hands down, because I I absolutely love Bailey Sarian. I watch all of her videos. I like Estate a lot. Um, most of what I've received, most most of what I've tried from Estate Cosmetics has been things that I've received in Ipsy, either the Plus or the Standard. But I really enjoy their quality. 
And the palette itself is, first of all, it is giant. I mean, it is such a great size. I was expecting it to be a lot smaller. And then when it showed up, I was like, wow. And then you inside, you get like nine really pretty, beautiful shades that you can easily work with. Honestly, there's some shades in it that are not really my mom style. The yellow, she probably won't get a good use out of. The purple probably won't get that much use out of. But most of the stuff is very neutral, very easy to work with. And so I, I mean, for me, as soon as I saw the palette, I was like, there's no doubt that that's what I'm gonna choose. But I wasn't sure if she was gonna choose it, but I, th I think she'll wind up liking it. She's more into neutrals. I'm I'm really not, as you can tell. I just used the Glam Light Donut Palette. It finally came and I was very excited and I, re I really liked it. I was, that's not the point of this video, but that's why my eyes look like they're straight out of the 80s, so. A. Moving along, the next thing she chose was the Complex Culture Brush. It is a really nice, fluffy face brush huge, gorgeous. I would use it as a finishing powder brush. I think it, I think there's other things you can do with it, but I think that's probably how most people would use it. It is, it literally feels like a broom. It's huge, it's giant, it's so fluffy. It's, and I like Complex Culture a lot. We've received brushes from them in the past. And I was a huge fan of it. The only thing that I don't like is the fact that like when it, when I got it off the porch yesterday, this literally was sticking out of the bag. So that freaks me out because I'm like, what could be on, what kind of dirt and dust could be on it. I wonder if the camera can catch it, like if you see anything flying. Probably not, I don't know. That's just how my brain works. I was like, I don't like the fact that this box is crushed and exposed, so. That's not Ipsy's fault, that's the shipping's fault, but you know, it do it do be like that. That's kind of my, my vibe for the day. So uh, the last thing that she chose was the Illamasqua, I think it's just like a neutral, yeah, it's a loaded lip polish, so it should be just like a really nice neutral. Oh, I, I don't want to break the seal on it because it's not mine. I, I try not to like mess with her products if it's going to compromise it. But it's just like a nice like over finishing lip gloss. I thought about it. I like Ilma Squaw a lot, but really isn't my style. So I was like, no, I'm not going to get that. So I did not get that one. That's what she chose. Now, um, we both redeemed points last month. She had taken her palette out, but I have mine, so I'll show you guys that as well. But she opted to add on, and I, like I said, I don't remember exactly how much she spent, but I think it was like another 50 bucks. She did the Luna Sleeping Night Oil from Sunday Riley. We both really like Sunday Riley, and she's been using sleeping oil, so she was like, I think that's a good one for me. She got the MOTD Pigment Packer Brush. She got the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Setting Powder, which I actually chose for my bag, and I will talk about that when we get to my bag. And then she chose to get the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Hydrating Gel. Once again, I really like Kate Somerville. You can see that this box has been through just absolute hell. It's, I mean, it survived, but not well. It didn't, not the box at least. The inside product is fine, but yeah. So she added those on and that really, I would say was what made her, her bag take two extra weeks because mine was here just so quickly and hers really was, it was like pulling teeth. And I'm not really sure what I expected. I guess I expected both of our bags to show up a lot later because of the difference in um, like choosing your items on the first rather than choosing them on like the 25th or what they used to do. So I really was shocked that my bag showed up so early. I was like, oh, okay. I think it's just something to be aware of that if you do the add-ons, you're most likely gonna get your bag a lot later because my mom's, my mom's bag would normally show up like a day or two after mine, not normally two weeks after mine. So yeah, so a little bit of a change, but I think it's a change for the better. I like her bag a lot, um, but let's jump into my bag. Like I said, because I already knew my whole thing with not wanting to check spoilers and things like that before was I wanted to have an element of surprise. So I would choose my one item and then I wouldn't look at the email that said like, this is what you're getting this month. That has kind of gone out the window because now I know what my two items that I'm receiving from Ipsy are and then I know what the three items I'm choosing are. So there wasn't a, a, like a, a need to keep it a, a, a secret or a surprise for myself. So I opted to, to film the video um, and I, we were hoping to get it posted this week and then that just didn't happen because like I said, it's it's a lot. I, I did one of my history stories with it. So it was a lot of editing on for Nikki to have to deal with and a lot to, to kind of get through. So we're gonna post it on Monday, but it does give me the ability to tell you how I feel about the products that I received and um, that I chose. So the first thing that I received was the Murad. It is the Perfecting Day Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I love Murad, decent little size. Straight up, I would call this a sunscreen. It smells like a sunscreen, it applies like a sunscreen, but it was super lightweight. I really liked it. Um, I, I wouldn't be wearing it a lot now, just because like, you know, with COVID and everything, we're really not going out of the house very much. 
but I think during the summer, especially going to the beach, when we would go to Florida during the summer or in February, because Florida is always hot and sunny, it's a really nice thing because it is so lightweight to, to wear under your foundation. It worked really well under my foundation. I was a big fan of it. Um, so yeah, I really like this. Not something I would have ever chosen for myself if I had been given the option, but also something that I don't have in my collection. And I feel like that means that it's, very useful in a, in a weird way because it's something I wouldn't think that I would want to choose, but it, it will work well for me. So I really liked it. I was a big fan of it, liked it. Thumbs up. The next thing they chose for me were, of course, the eyeshadow sticks that my mom got from uh, Beauty For Real. Like I said, I did not get to test these out. I want to test them out soon, just didn't happen, but I'm a big fan of the company and I'm a big fan of this type of product. So I was very excited to receive it. Then of course I chose Bailey's palette as well. I spent a good little while talking about that with my mom's bag. I freaking loved it. I absolutely loved it. I tried, cause I watched the video where she talked about, you know, the process of creating the palette and her mindset with it and, and all of it. And um, I saw the look she created with it. So I wanted to do something different. So I really went in with Rose Tattoo, Bonfire, uh, Soul and uh, Venice Fling and made a really nice kind of golden eye look. And I just, I, the whole day I was just like, oh my gosh, that's, I threw my paper on the ground. Got it, retrieved. Um, but the whole day I just would, I would like catch a side of it in the mirror and I just be like, it just looks so, nice like it just i it finished well it looked beautiful i was a huge fan of it and i think with there's so many colors i didn't even touch you've got roller skates which is a beautiful purple shade i use a little bit of toasty tan lines i really didn't use much of i think there's a lot you can do with it you can make it a bold look you can make it a very nice neutral look just kind of depends on what you're thinking for that day and and what you're you know, comfort level is. So I'm just so excited about it. I, like I said, I love, I forever love and stand Bailey Zarian. So I was thrilled. I was thrilled that that was even an option. The next thing that I chose was the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Setting Powder. That is what my mom also added on. So I showed you guys that. This is what it looks like. Really nice. This is kind of the Ciate London standard. Like we've gotten a couple blushes and stuff in the past and they have the same kind of packaging. Inside white. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It probably isn't picking up very well, but it's got like little watermelon seed indents in it. Very cute. It smells like fake watermelon. If you guys watch my videos, you know I hate the scent of fake watermelon, but this is hands down the best setting powder I've used recently. I don't even know how to describe what it did, but it I did not realize that I needed this. But as soon as I, I, as soon as I stopped filming, like as soon as we finished filming, I looked it up to see if I could buy more. And it's currently unavailable on Ciate London's website. So I don't know where I can find more of this, but I, I need more of this because it is my, the texture of my skin was so different than it's been using any other setting powder. It would very light very easy, translucent, so it didn't change the shade of my foundation at all. It just gave me the seamless finish. And like I said, lightweight, not heavy. I, huge fan. I did not realize how much I was gonna like it if I'm being 100% honest. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that one. Um, the final product that I chose was the Wander Beauty, I don't know what it's called. I think it's just a clear like top coat uh, eyebrow gel. I like it a lot. Um, it has a really nice kind of fine, you can it doesn't really help because it's white. So I should put it, put it against my hair. Maybe you can see that. But it's like this kind of Christmas tree shaped little wand. The gel is nice. I mean, it's just a standard clear brow gel, but I always need clear brow gel. So I was like, all right, you know, I've got a lot of good products. So it's still a good product. I like it. I was a huge fan of my bag. I really truly was. I love everything that I got. I love the options that I got. I know some people are not quite sure. They're not quite sold on it. I really hope that it stays like this. If it stays like this, I think I'm gonna be thrilled with the plus. Um, that being said, I am actually thinking about doing the ultimate as well, just because like I have seen the spoilers for September and I like a lot of the stuff that they're offering. So I'm kind of like, do I want to do it or not? My mom thinks that I should do it. I'm like, are you going to do it? Cause people want to see Ipsy, Ipsy versus Ipsy. So what are you, what, you know, step up mom. You can't be like, you got to do it if you're not going to do it. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Maybe for September we will end up with the ultimate. I have not decided yet, but before we finish out this here video, and I tell you guys uh, what I would choose. Um, I do wanna show you guys, We both mom and I decided to do the Real Her 3 I Feel Beautiful Shadow Palette. We redeemed 1800 points for it last month. It came in our pluses 
and really great, really nice little neutral palette. I'm excited to test it out and see how it works. It looks gorgeous. It's very um, compact, easy to travel with, I would say. I hadn't, I actually just pulled the wrapper off of it because I hadn't even opened it yet. So, uh, but yeah, the fact that we could get a palette for 1800 points, I've been saving my points for a while, waiting for something really good. And I'm glad that I did because I think this was like a really good option. Um, and that's kind of why I love Ipsy's point system is pretty simple to, as long as you review your bags, then you're always gonna get at least 75 or 85, I think it's 85 actually, points per bag. So that's, you know, it's easy to build them up if you're, especially when you're subscribed to multiple levels of it. So, so yeah, all right, so let's finish this off. We're gonna do what we normally do with it, although it, it will be a little bit different because I've chosen my product, so it just doesn't kind of feel the same. If I had to pick one bag as a whole, I would pick my bag. <laughs> And if I had to pick my ideal products, I actually would choose my mom's 111 skin serum and then all of the other products that I got. So the um, the eyeshadow duo stick, which we both got, the Bailey Sarian palette, which we both got, and then my Ciate London setting powder and my Wander Beauty um, eyebrow wand. Like I said, it doesn't kind of carry the same weight because we had the same choices. So I could have chosen to get the brush. I could have chosen to get the Ilma lip gloss, but I opted not to. Really the only things to compare would be like what Ipsy chose for us. And they chose one of the same products for the two of us. And then they gave me the Murad, which I like, and it's a great product, but I just think I would probably choose the serum if I had the option to. So yeah, um, I love it. I don't know what more to say about it. I really like um, the, the changes that Ipsy has made with the plus. I like the direction they're going with it. Um, I have a lot of hope that it's gonna stay like this. I do worry that they'll come out with a couple strong months and then potentially get a little bit low. Uh, uh. But we'll see. I'm not gonna be negative about it when I'm this happy about it. So, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I know this, this Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus is probably our most popular video. I mean, our other Ipsys do well, BoxyCharm always does well. But you guys really like to see this. And I'm, I'm very interested to hear what you think of the changes, how fast your bags came, um, do you like the stuff that you got? Have you gotten to try the products yet? Um, I just love hearing your guys' thoughts on it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps our channel out a ton. Um, like I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. We just passed a thousand subscribers and I'm so thrilled and I'm so grateful to everybody who supports us and watches our videos. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.